It was uh, during that time that uh, Steve and Sarah started dating too, so it was very entertaining for the whole household. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> <Now>, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, pretty much, I guess, what my 12 years of knowing Steve, I think that uh, officially qualifies me and him uh, and my ability to call him a bro. And uh, a bro is what, uh, you know, short for brother, but not in a literal sense, but uh, bro, you know, we have our, our bromance perhaps. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, a brotherly love, even though we are not technically brothers. Uh, and uh, so now you get an idea what a bro is. Uh, there is something called a bro code, which uh, I'm kind of stealing from a television show we all happen to like. It's called How I Met Your Mother. Yes! <laughs> good show. That one. Right here, I have really good. the actual bro code. And uh, I wanted to, to page through some of the, the articles in here and see how Steve stacked up as a bro. And, uh, Ooh, Jeffrey, you're nice. <laughs> uh, so, first of all, Article 2, a bro is always entitled to do something stupid, as long as the rest of his bros are all doing it. And Steve has made use of that clause several times. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Some of my finer moments in life, I'm sure. Another one, Article 3 here, if a bro gets a dog, it must be at least as tall as his knee when fully grown. All I can say is kudos, Steve and Sarah, you did excellent with your Rottweiler. Uh, way to exceed everyone's expectations with that one. Uh, uh, article 15, a bro never dances with his hands above his head. So I have not personally witnessed this yet, but I just want everyone to uh, keep watch tonight to make sure that does not happen. <laughs> Let's see, the, the last one here, uh, well, pretty much when I was going through, I found that Steve had followed the bro code perfectly, which is really quite an accomplishment. In fact, though, it was my failings that I found when I was searching through the bro code. Here we have Article 32, a bro does not allow another bro to get married until he's at least 30. And uh, I'm sorry, Steve, but uh, I think Sarah is a worthy exception in this case, and so good job ignoring him. <laughs> Guy. I guess, uh, yeah, so after that uh, fateful year of living together in college, that's when Steve and Sarah started dating, and uh, well, actually the story behind that is uh, Steve and I wanted to uh, take a, a spring break trip to uh, Washington, D.C., and for some strange reason, Sarah came along as well. I have no mm -hmm. idea what her motivation was for that, but uh, <laughs> after 18 hours in the car ride together there, uh, and there was no dead bodies to be found. I knew that, first of all, if anyone can stand Steve for more than 18 hours, they have an excellent chance of uh, <laughs> having a lifelong relationship. <laughs> but, uh, so, a spring break trip happened. Uh, Steve asked Sarah out uh, a few days following that, and the rest is history. So, I guess what I'd like to do is make a toast to Steve and Sarah making a lifelong history together.